Now, though, they live on our lovable pets, which means they're in our sofas, in our beds. We're talking about fleas, the other bed bug. Florida is the fourth in the nation for fleas on dogs and cats. So what can you do to keep your family and your pets flea free? That's not easy to say, by the way. Here now to join us to talk more about it is Dr. Jennifer Norton from the Banfield Pet Hospital down on John Young Parkway. Always great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. And you have a lovely guest that you brought with you. This is, I do, this is Cinnabon. Cinnabon. This is my assistant for the day. Oh my gosh, adorable. Okay, so let's talk about fleas because they're not pleasant. No, Nobody not. likes to talk about them, but no. they're reality. It is a reality. Here in Florida, we have a very, very high number of fleas, and fleas are more common than bed bugs. Ugh. And since the vast majority of us pet owners do allow our pets to sleep in bed with us, right. we are more at risk for having fleas in our beds than the actual scary bed bug itself. Uh, okay, so where do our pets pick up these fleas? Where? What's the most common place that they can pick them up and get them on their get them on themselves. The most common place is just outside. Okay. So anytime a pet goes outdoors, they're going to be at risk for contracting fleas. But another common way that they get the fleas actually from us, believe it or not, when we walk outside, we can bring fleas into the home on our shoes, on our pants legs, so on our clothing, and we don't even realize it. So even an indoor cat or an indoor right. small dog like Cinnabon right. is still at risk for fleas. So should we be treating our yard? Is that something that we should be doing or should we just be treating the pets? The number one most important thing that you can do is treat your pet. Okay. So we want to start with the pet first, but if we do see that there's a high number of fleas in the environment, treating the yard is very important. Treating the home is also very important. But a monthly flea prevention such as First Shield okay. or Comfortus. Okay. Some examples here. So yes, we'll we show. Okay. So this is First Shield. Okay. This is a veterinary approved product. Okay. This is very safe. It's going to prevent fleas, ticks, and mosquito bites. It also kills fleas, ticks, and mosquitoes. Okay. And once a month application on the pet is what we recommend as your strongest way to prevent these parasites from getting into your house. And over the last few years, we have heard some, some not so great things about some of the, the flea prevention products out there. So should you ask your vet first before you use anything? Yes, absolutely. Okay. There are several products that are on the market that may not be approved by the EPA so we want to recommend only products that are approved such as the first shield okay um, anytime you have a question please also contact your veterinarian so we can talk about what's the most appropriate for your pet All right. there definitely can be side effects for certain flea medications and we want to ensure that your pet does not encounter any of those side effects all right dr. Norton great to see you thank you so much thank for bringing you so cinnamon much. too oh my gosh you're, you're so welcome. absolutely precious and we just wanted to let everyone know you can visit banfield.com for a free coupon download oh, to get a new well, single dose of flip prevention. Even better. All right. Thank okay, you so thank much. You. Great to see you. Thanks. All right. Let's send it over to you and find out what's going on weather-wise, Jim. I definitely need to talk to her because I think I've been giving my dog fleas, actually. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. I'm probably dead surprised. <laughs> Isn't wishing good morning? But they do. You know, in the summertime, and especially as the temperatures change, and we're looking at 78 degrees out there. We've got some light rain on the.